In this, this week's video, I'm going to go over something a little bit uh, off topic, but definitely related to usage of the channel. So what I did was I created a custom chat bot using content from uh, the channel. So I was able to basically take the content from the YouTube SQL answers channel and load it into a chat bot so that the content and that can be basically queried. So it's really a powerful tool. And I think it's something that uh, others might be interested in. So how did I stumble upon this? I was just, you know, watching a YouTube video last weekend, had a little bit of time uh, from Jeff Booth and Preston Pish, and they were discussing AI topics. And one of the topics that came up was that they were talking about custom chatbots. And so this got me curious and I started doing a little bit of research and I found that there's actually tools out there that enable this to be done. And so I went through, you know, several of them and finally decided on one to experiment with. And it's really powerful. I mean, you can take, if you have content on the internet, you can point this software at it and it will basically pull in that content and make it queryable. And so this includes things like YouTube videos, uh, documents, if you've got PDF documents that you've written, uh, if you've got podcasts, so, and if you've got a website. So, you know, you can give it a website uh, site map. It'll crawl your website and pull in all that material. So, and it just makes everything queryable right at your disposal. So the site that I stumbled upon is named customgpt.ai, and it's actually based off of ChatGPT4, so that's what it uses as a basis, uh, and it uses that as its engine. And so what you can do is effectively train it with your own content by loading it in. And so you have a choice uh, when you configure your chatbot. You know, do you want to ha have it use your content exclusively, which is kind of... Uh, nice in some cases so that it could be exclusively you or you could actually combine it with your content plus everything else that ChatGPT 4 offers so and the resulting chatbot can be embedded in a website or it could even be used standalone and a real nice feature is that it actually cites the related content and it gives you a link so you could have a way for your people who are querying your chatbot to not only get the answer, but also tell you where it came from. And then if it's a, you know, for example, a video, they can click on the video and watch the whole thing. So this is really powerful. I really encourage people to play with it. I will uh, provide you a referral link that will give you a one month free. And so there's a code one month off. So they'll give you a, you know, a month to play around with it. Otherwise, they don't really offer a free, free trial. In fact, I didn't even see, I, I didn't use a referral link for my myself because I didn't even see that they offered referrals and I came across someone else that was offering referral codes. And so uh, I'm actually paying so because they don't actually have a, a free month trial without having this code. So if you want to try it, I encourage you to use that and then you can figure out whether or not you want to you wanna use it. Um, so uh, now we're going to jump in and we're going to try it out. We're on the uh, homepage for the SQL Answers YouTube channel. And what I've done here, I just added a the link to the chatbot. So let's just click on it. It'll bring up that chatbot. And what I've got here are some pre-configured questions. So you can just configure these with your chatbot, you know, just type in some sample questions and allow people, you know, spur some, some questions that people might have. And I know I've got videos that relate to these. So here we've got, what is a database? How can I prepare for a SQL interview? What is a group by in SQL? What is a CTE? And so these are all questions that I know I've got content related to. So let's let's try it out. I'm just going to click on this and it's going to pop that in that, that question box. You know, what is a database? And it does definitely come back with content that I know that I have contained in a video that I've created for the channel. So a database is an organized collection of structured information. These are all direct quotes from a video I created. And it'll tell you, hey, it'll give you a citation and tell you where does the answer come from? And it'll show, you know, 
if there's if there's one or more, it'll tell you while well, you just cycle through the different sources for the answer. And you can actually click on that and it'll bring up that related source, which is super powerful. I mean, if you're dealing with a business and you've got the training materials for your employees or you've got a help desk or anything like that, this is extremely powerful with providing people with answers to questions as well as going in and digging in and doing more research after the fact. So let's just try a couple of those other questions that we had. You know, I know I've got a, a, a video that talks about uh, interview questions. So how or what are what are some questions that you ask during an SQL interview? And again, direct quote. I typically start out with a self-assessment, ask people to rate themselves on a scale of one to 10 on their capability. If you go and watch this video, you're gonna find out that it says exactly, you know, that's, that's direct quote. So this is taking the exact content from that video and opening it up and enabling people to dig into it and ask questions of it. And so, you know, I have accumulated about 80 videos now on the YouTube channel and all I really needed to do is generate a site map for all of those videos. And when you upload videos to YouTube, YouTube will basically you know, interpret the video, get, grab the text out and store it. And so what that enables the chatbot to do is reference that text. And so it's able to create sort of a neural uh, network inside of its in, in the data structure and associates questions with answers. And so that's how this is all being done. So let's try another one. I know I've got a video that talks about CTEs. And here's the answer straight from the video, you know, and it'll, it'll reference where it came from. So, you know, all the sources here, because most of the content that I've loaded up has been from the YouTube channel, but I also loaded in some stuff from uh, like uh, articles that I've written on uh, Medium, you know, just, you just convert them to PDF and then upload them. When you upload, there is a limit, a uh, hundred megabyte limit. So I was having some issues with like trying to, trying to straight load videos in because with the hundred megabytes, you know, videos can add up fast. So if you've had a video over 100 megabytes, you wind up trying to compress it or splitting it apart, and it's just kind of a hassle. But uh, the ability to point it at uh, YouTube is just extremely powerful. And, you know, the next things I'm going to probably be looking into is, hey, can I do the same thing for, like, Twitter or for uh, TikTok or other, other, you know, or Instagram, all these other social media sites, because there's a lot of content that can be unlocked, on, you know, on those platforms as well. So that's a, that just gives you a basic idea of how it works. You know, if you guys have additional questions, I'd be glad to go over spe specific questions in another video, but uh, just wanted to give you a feel from it, introduce you to it. And, you know, and, you know, it's a great tool for just using the, the SQL Answers uh, YouTube channel. I'll do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like the video, consider subscribing to the channel, leave your comments and questions below, share the channel. Hey, and you, hey, feel free to use that chat bot. I think it, uh, I think it'll be very valuable to you guys if you want to do any research on past videos. Talk to you later.